Of all the Accent Decor product that I love the most, that I've had so much experience, great experience with, is the whole water pearl, water cubes, and water crystal line. Look how gorgeous they are. They're so pristine. It's wonderful for party work. The clarity of this material and how you can design in them is just so exciting. I think there's a lot of confusion sometimes as to how much it makes, uh, you know, cost versus the, the, the volume that you get. And so I just want to demonstrate a little bit like they come these are the, the the jumbo water pearls they come like this or in a bigger quantity like that but all it takes really simply is and we use this as a gauge a teaspoon two teaspoons per this size container right here this is all it takes to make that quantity that you see that's been expand, expanded overnight and actually water pearls takes usually just uh, two three four hours to to um, expand it takes really no time at all to do those now with the water cubes they're a little clumpy and it's sort of an estimate it takes a little bit more of it than the others but so you're just going to take a clump like that it's sort of a just like cooking a little bit of guesstimating and to create that and as well the, the water um, ice too like that so you can see how how much how far this goes that it, it, it's sort of dispelling the whole uh, concept of how much does that make it makes actually about a, the five gallon pail like this now this is water pearls that's been sitting for seven weeks and it has not been um, watered again or replenished at all and this is what it looks like and you can prevent this very easily this is a concern because a lot of people see this but because they've just let it sit uh, the key thing to keeping it clean is that you just run rinse it under water uh, once a week I think is, is a very good schedule to, to put yourself on. And what you do is just put your hand over the, the vase like this and let the water run in and just run off so that it keeps it just sort of rinsing. I think that's a really a good way of doing it. Or if, if your project is done and you want to refurbish this again, what you have to do is just simply take a, a sieve or a strainer and empty that in through the strainer and let it just rinse right out, put it under the sink, rinse it out and put it in fresh big tall cylinder again to let it puff up and just take in all the fresh water again so it's nice and clear um, it, it's just a process weekly will keep this looking really great and the whole idea is in in floristry is you use it and use it and use it so you get multiple use out of it which is really great value but in the end you're going to sell it so that it's gone so that you, you do get the value of repeated use and then you sell it out. That's the whole key thing. Now for recommendation to the consumer, because we always have to know this, what to, what to tell our customer. Number one, do not run it into, you know, drain it into the sink. If they need to discard it, if they are tired of it and they want to discard it, put it in the garden. Because after all, these, this product was made, uh, uh, produced in Holland for the horticulture industry. It was made as a soil conditioner and soil moisturizer to, as a top dressing for plants so that it would retain moisture in the soil. <clears throat> That's what it was made for. So the best thing for it to return to is Mother Earth and let it help the earth um, you know, keep its moisture. That's what it was made for. So. I think that's one of the best things to do, uh, to advise our consumer. Now, one thing that you do have to remember is that, uh, you know, sometimes there's a concern of that um, the stem life, the longevity of uh, flowers lasting this may be compromised. A lot of people think because there's not enough water in here. The key thing is if you're using it to, uh, for a long-term use of flowers or the lasting quality of flowers for it not to be compromised, the key thing is you have to have water in there <clears throat> so that you can see the water level, making sure that the stem is in that water rather than in that bead. If you put it in this, 
like this. There's not enough water for this flower to survive in that. It, there's a lot of air in there because it's all a lot of pearls that has moisture within it, but not outside of it. So this is what you need to do if you want to send out an arrangement. It just, you have to see, be able to see that water line and that the stem end is in there. 